Right, here on Crazy Carpers, we've been asked to do a few tackle reviews. We already do a few over on the bank, but we're going to do a few individual ones for a piece of tackle that we use. So, to start the first one off, Delkin Tate Ties. These are the alarms that I use, so I'm going to run through a few different features that they have and why I use them. First off, the reason I use Tate Ties, and the thing that separates Tate Ties from other Delkins, is uh, the ability to have a receiver. Uh, got the receiver there, so I'll run through that feature in a minute. Um, Standard Delkim settings really, the uh, turn, volume and sensitivity, all different settings that you can have. Um, on the TXIs and standard alarms, um, this is something that the EVs don't have but standards in the TXIs do, is the uh, ability to have plus and minus Delkim sensitivity settings, have it on plus, more sensitivity, minus less, etc. Um, you can also change the brightness of the LEDs. Um, change the night marking so you can have night marking on so if you've got your alarms on your pod or bike sticks you can look out your bivvy if it's raining or whatever you don't, or you don't want to get up make sure they're all turned on or you're working um, that's just a permanent little light which is like three times dimmer than your, uh, um, your bike alarm light so you'll definitely still recognise the run but you'll always have a little light just on in the back just to make sure they're always on. Um, but I don't have that on personally because I just don't want to run the battery down I just don't feel it's necessary for my fishing. A lot of people do like it. I know James likes it on his EV, so he might have it on his TXIs. Um, but it's just personal preference. Um, Delkin's really loud, so if you don't have a receiver, it doesn't really matter. Um, so I'll run through the features of the receiver. Receiver, if you use Duracell batteries, which is what uh, is recommended by Delkin, they get 10,000 hours of battery life from uh, a local setting. Uh, you have two settings, local and distant. Local is up to about 50 metres, I think. Now, distant, I think it's up to 200 metres. Um, we'll have to check for you, but obviously trees and bushes, anything like that, buildings will impair it, so it'll bring it down quite considerably. Um, the only setting you have on there is volume, but the turn, um, whatever turn you have on your alarms is the turn that will come through on here it's quite clever really and you can um, program up to 24 delkins in all different colours um, this has got vibration settings so you can have it under your pillow and it will still wake you up um, it's a real good little receiver really vibration um, alarm, burglar alarm so if someone turns your delkins off if they want to un unscrew them silently and turn them off and the alarm will go on this and uh, they can't do anything about it, they can turn their Delkin on and off and uh, take the batteries out, don't make a difference, this will still be going off. Um, there's a lot of little accessories for Delkins, uh, we've got the cases obviously, um, they just sit over the top, like that, sit over the top, keep it nice and protected. Um, case for the receiver. So that just sits on there, there's a little hole for your antenna. That keeps that protected from scratching if you drop it, whatever. Um, cases. Um, the um, bite indicators me and James use are the stirs. Uh, keep them in the box. You can get a little uh, wheel, but we've got little boxes for the stirs, but over time the uh, little thing what grips them on does uh, weaken a little bit. So I just keep mine in this little neat little tub, I just keep on with the little Delcom accessories in. Um, and other bite, bite indicators, natural ones there. Um, basically I'll explain the uh, Delkin snack bars first. These are the official Delkin ones. Basically they come in a pack of two snack bars and a new battery plate. And basically you take your old one off and there's two little screws at the bottom. Take them screws out. Slide on new batch plate, put screws back in. Simple as. And the uh, new batch plate comes with two little slots, and you'll have slots on there. And um, if you look down the top of each one or bottom or whatever, you can see that each each uh, little attachment at the bottom comes off at a different angle. So I've got one of each there, and you want them to be at the widest possible um, setting. So that one, you can see that, that's like that. So I want that to be on that alarm. So it's just pushing it out a little bit on that side of the alarm, sorry. 
Now you just slide it on the other wall, on the other side. So that gives you plenty of room for your alarm. They're not too high, so they don't look ugly. Not too low, so your alarm can't get pulled off. But obviously, if you put them on the wrong way, this will want, This is what happens. Um, everyone will make the mistake, it's, it's quite hard to tell. They'll get used to it though. Put them in the wrong slots, basically, it doesn't make a difference to the actual things. But, uh, as you can see, your rod won't fit in between there. Okay, you can get a finger in between there, so your rod's not going to fit. So there are the uh, snack bars, find them very useful. The mouth's better looking than any of the snack bars on the market. There's them. Uh, onto the indicators, stirs, corn stirs. I think this is a massive advantage to your fishing, to be honest, because the line clips in to the uh, it's sort of clip outside, and the stir just moves with the line. So it's not like uh, show me the one. So it's not like them ones where it's just your line goes in that clip and then it can move freely. Your line sticks in there and it moves up and down with your line. So if you get a get a tick, what happens is, I'll show you on this one. Basically, they come with these little magnetic adapters and it's magnetic on the end so they come out nice and easy so they don't get broken. Basically it just pops in. That. When you get a run, so that's on that's on T line like that, you can have it right up here or down here. When if you get a run, positive run, that'll come up and it'll just just go a bit lower than where the uh, the line goes through, um, and that'll cause it to go to the top and fall off. So you know you've got a good run. Um, and also if you're using smaller alarms like ATTs, um, some of the Fox Microns, the uh, cord of things come with a longer adapter just to make it a bit a bit short so it meets it about there so it'll still fall off. Um, so basically that'll, that'll come up with the line like that and just fall off on the tape or if you or if it, you get a drop back fishing against some snags, fish comes towards you, it doesn't just sit there, it'll move right down like that, right down. So it's not it, so you get still get real positive indication. Other bite indicators that we use or I use. Um, got some Nash ones. I can't remember what these are called to be honest. Um, I think they're called they're not the hotheads, I don't think. But I know Nash do other uh, good bite indicators to do uh Back biters, I think they're called. They're like a bike chain, so they they stop it from moving side to side. So these are the ones that I sometimes use. They come in a longer chain, and they move through. So I'd probably use it if I was fishing a zig, because they just seem to move nicer on a zig. You don't get as good indication on a zig. Um, I just found I get good indication. When I'm fishing a zig with these bite line, uh, bite tickets, sorry. And a uh, corder, do a little pack of three metal, um, metallic magnetic adapters. Basically, they just screw onto the end of your roll indicator or other indicator. And that will just enable it. So if you're in the middle of a session, you take your stow off, that just unclips out of the magnet. And your other one just clips in. Simple as that. Nice and neat. Um, Delkin do their own um, bite indicators. They do um, ones that. Where's my the alarm gone? They do ones that just. There's a little uh, jack in the bottom there. And they do ones that just. The jack sits into there and they're um, coloured. And they do uh, little bars that come out to stop it from swinging side to side. They're extendable, nice neat little sets. Um, don't know if we're going to invest in them because we love the stirs so much. But uh, basically, that's that's the Delkins. Another main thing that sets Delkins apart, or what I talked about yet, is uh, the vibration sensor. Um, a lot of other alarms have rollers in them, so uh, 
but the Dell pins have like a little V motion sensor. Uh, the main difference is now it's coming to winter, you're in mid session doing like a week session somewhere or two days, two nights. Um, your alarm's on your pod, starts so raining as it does in England. Uh, and you, so the water gets in there near your roller. And then freaky weather, minus two degrees, minus three degrees, that freezes your roller won't move. That don't happen with the Delkins. Delkins, it's a little V like that, your line sits on it, and every time your line moves, it either moves backwards or forwards. That's what sets the alarm off, not a not a roller going round. Um, it's also a miles more sensitive, um, a bit more reliable, because sometimes you find your line can go to the side of a roller, so it will actually go through it, but it doesn't with these. Um, so that's why we use the Delkins and love them so much. Once you've gone on the Delkins, you never really move because um, they're so adaptable and so reliable. Well, that's uh, my Delkin TXIs, and uh, as I said, I'm sure James will do a feature about how to set them up. Um, well, that's how I use them and uh, how they work for me. So, nice one.